are you doing? Um, my name is Anya Hislan and uh, I'm a County Clare musician and I've just brought out um, a new album called The Tunes Foundry and uh, this album is completely of tunes that I, I've composed myself over the last few years. Um, I'm going to play uh, three jigs. Um, the first one is called The Tunes Foundry. Uh, second one is Round Wagtail. Um, and it's called Round Wagtail because um, I had planned on writing a tune that you could play the second part over the first part, but it didn't really work out. Um, anyway, the first one was called Round Robin, so that's why it's around. <laughs> So round wagtail and the third tune is called Lift Me. Okay.
well done. That was pretty flawless snow. Okay, listen, thanks for coming in on you. Two firsts here. I've never recorded anyone on a silver flute or a classical flute, and I've never recorded anyone who has an album of all their own compositions. So, two firsts, so well done in those. Will you tell me how you started off being from Clare playing a classical, or a, 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 we'll say a classical flute? Um, well, I, I started, my father started teaching myself and my friends um, tin whistle, um, but he is a jazz piano player and uh, when I thought I was going to get a, um, a wooden flute, I got a silver flute instead. Uh, where, where, sorry, where was he, where were you based? In Kilbaha. Kilbaha, that's Kilbaha. way out, anyone who doesn't know, that's way out the loop head. Yeah, on the Wild Atlantic Way. The Wild Atlantic, right, that's okay. Right. Beautiful. Yeah. And um, I, I, I loved going to the Willie Clancy Week um, when we, you know, when we had started out on the whistles. Um, so anyway, I got a silver flute and um, we moved into Limerick City um, for our secondary school uh, years. And I went to the Mulgrave Street um, Municipal School of Music and learned all the classical grades. So. Um, kind of left the traditional music behind me. Um, and what attitude would, would people there have had to you with a background of traditional music? Would it have been just deleted as quickly as possible in case in case it, um, it, 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 it contaminates? Would it be that attitude? Um, it's just that I suppose I wasn't into the tradition enough, you know, for, for enough years. Um, and because we moved away, uh, I wasn't then, you know, immersed into uh, enough of sessions and stuff. Okay. You know? So you I hadn't too many bad habits. Is what uh, you're saying? Yeah. Well, I had some. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and I, I, uh, I did try um, going to Limerick sessions, but I, I found it different to Clare sure. music, and um, I suppose I didn't know people. Right. Well, you know, I was young. So I, I just left it for, for a while and um, concentrated on the classical. Lovely. Um, and all the tunes in this album are the, your, your own compositions. How long would it have taken you to compose those or over what period of time have you composed all those tunes? Um, I started in uh, 2000 and, uh, 2011, um, even though I had written a couple many years before. Right. Um, and. Uh, most of them, I, I've written up to 80 tunes mm. since then. Uh, it's pretty prolific, isn't it? For Yeah, I just love doing that. Um, now, I, I've only composed maybe about 20 since I started um, this album. Um, but, you know, that has taken over time. It's, right. it's just simply a time thing. I, I, okay. I can compose a tune um, in, you know, half an hour. Um, right. You know, Under what conditions hour. does the oh, muse quiet. just descend on you, or is it? Oh no, I, I, I just, I just want to write a, a tune. Right. Uh, you know, and um, I find it easy. Uh, I just love the challenge of it. Right. To, to try and get um, a catchy tune. Sure. Okay. And are you very analytical, or are you, are you very kind of? When you sit down to compose a tune, is it okay? This is my time now. I have to do something, so let's do it. Or, or do, do well, you get some I, kind of? I do sit down in order to compose, but uh, I, I um, throw it out if I don't like the sound of it. I, right. I play it, um, sure. play it bit by bit, and uh, if I like that, then I move on to the next bit. Okay. That's how I do it. All right, well done. Hopefully you, you, end up with a nice tune. Well, I mean, the album speaks for itself. Okay, it speaks volumes. So well done. You played a bit of music with with Connor Connor Lynch and and Joe Hanrahan out of Belnacali. You seem to like I did. that I did. that that yeah. ease. Yeah, I loved it. Um, I think I just uh, enjoyed their um, acceptance as well of um, new tunes. So they they were very helpful. I've I've played it with a lot of. Um, musicians over the, in the past 10, 12 years. Um, played a lot with Martin Old Tuberty as well. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Um, and uh, playing a lot with Marie Constein and Orla Coughlin. Marie Concertine and Marie, is it? Yeah, that's right. Oh, lovely. Yeah. yeah. And Orla Coughlin on fiddle. There's a good colony of good musicians, young and old, out that way, there isn't there? Is, yeah, played a lot with 
with Tom Carey. Oh, Tom, lovely. Yeah. He's yeah. There. No longer with us, unfortunately. That's right, yeah. Yeah, well, that's great. Listen, uh, thanks for coming in today and best of luck with the, with the music and the tunes. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks, Anya.